Hey there, I'm John Siskovich sitting on the seat of my brand new tractor and I'm sorry to say as much as I love this machine, it has one pretty crucial design flaw that has me crazy frustrated. I have no idea why they designed it that way. Let's pick it apart. Maybe you guys can solve my problem. So let me paint the picture for you. I have a 52 acre farm. I manage rotational livestock. We have a brewery here. We do a lot of different things on our farm and I needed an all purpose tractor with a front end loader that did all kinds of things. Now, one of those things that I have to do because I don't have enough animals to manage all of my fields, I mow. Mowing is a big thing when you're a grass farmer. You gotta get to mow to not to mow, but sometimes you gotta mow. I went a couple months without a tractor things got out of control. I had some weeds, the weeds have seeds. It's not uncommon to be bush hogging your property and have weed seeds puff up as you go. Now the thing with this Mahindra is, is that when those seeds puff up, they suck into the radiator uh, grill there and with those seed heads stuck to that grill, the engine can't get enough air blowing through that to cool down. It could overheat and you could seriously damage the machine. Now, I was watching my temperature gauge, which, you know, it's a habit to watch the temperature gauge I was mowing. And I noticed that I was climbing, climbing, climbing and into the red. So I stopped it. My front grill looked clean. I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I drove it into the uh, homestead and shut it down, parked it in the shade, let it cool down and then took a look at it. Then I realized I found out the critical flaw in this Mahindra 5570, a design flaw that I just can't get over how bad it is. So as you're mowing and their seed heads coming out, they're blowing up into the air and being sucked in with the fan of the radiator. Now that's normal. Most tractors that I've driven in the past, this front grill swings down or the cover swings up and the radiators for, you know, front and center and it's easy to reach in and scoop all that stuff out. With this Mahindra, this air filter and a bunch of other stuff is in the way. I can't get to it. You know, I have to take this thing out in order to reach my hand down there. If the engine is hot, I don't want to be fishing around in there because I'm going to burn myself. I'm going to get injured. I can't get in from the front. I can't get in right here. And the front grill plate, so there's the radiator, then there's the plate, is bolted on with four quarter inch bolts that I have to take the rest of the front apart in order to get in there. And now I've cleaned this once already and I had to take the air filter assembly out and get in there and first I scooped it out with my hand and then I went in with a air compressor and blew the stuff out and made sure I got it out of the rest of the cavity of the, you know, the engine here so that, you know, when I turned the machine back on, the fan didn't suck it just back up into the radiator and then it, you know, it doesn't get enough air and it overheats. And I don't understand why this front grill is so hard to take off. Why would you design it that way? And why would you tuck not only the radiator so far in there, but the battery to get to the battery is a nightmare. There's a maze of stuff. I can't even see the battery terminals, hardly even see the battery terminals from having the hood open. So if I needed to jump it, if I needed to run other, some auxiliary thing or jump another piece of equipment, it's so hard to get in there that I just, I don't know, maybe where they're making these, they don't need to mow grass. But for me, a grass farmer, this is a real big design flaw. I don't know how I'm going to get around it yet. I'm going to have to come up with some clever fix. I will have the specs for this machine in the, the notes section of this video. If you guys take a look at it, somebody more clever than me comes up with a solution or figures this out, I would love to know. But for me, this is almost a deal breaking thing because to take all this apart, I have to drive back to the, either have the wrenches on me or drive back to the shop pull this stuff out, clean it out. So that's like an hour of mowing and then 20 minutes of work, an hour of mowing, 20 minutes of work. If I get into an area that's full of seed heads, I could run through and do a couple passes and then this thing is full up and I worry about overheating the machine, overtaxing the engine and thus either breaking it immediately or in the long term, greatly decreasing the life of the tractor. So if you guys figure this out, let me know. I'm really, really curious. So I'm not normally one to throw people under the bus. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But this one really baffles me. Why would you design it this way? If you know, leave it in the comments section. I'd like to have that conversation because this is gonna be a tough one for me as a grass farmer, not being able to easily clean off my radiator. And if I let anybody else use this machine, if it's somebody that's newer to the machinery 
or isn't as skilled of an operator and doesn't have that like look down at that temperature gauge every couple minutes, then I could seriously injure or permanently break this machine. So that's all I got for now. I hope we figure this one out. Until next time, I will see you out in the field.